Hi, my name is Rob Scott from UC Today News. And in this session, I'm joined by Ross Mayfield, who's the Group Product Manager for Zoom Apps. And we're going to be talking through the latest announcement, Zoom Essential Apps. Welcome, Ross. How's it going? Great, Rob. It's awesome to talk to you today. Yeah, great. Thanks for joining me and excited to hear more about uh, your new announcement. But uh, just before we get going, and for anyone out there who doesn't know much about Zoom Apps, you know, mm -hmm. just quickly tell us, you know, what is Zoom Apps and, and how's it been going since uh, you launched, well, more than a year ago now? Yeah, uh, about a year and a half ago, we launched Zoom Apps, uh, which are third-party applications that run in Zoom meetings uh, the, uh, as a way to kind of transform the meeting experience to make it more productive, engaging, even fun. Um, we've got about 125 Zoom Apps that have been published to date. Uh, the over the last year, even uh, we opened it up. We opened up the Zoom Apps SDK, so any developer could build a Zoom app, right? And it really is a better way to work. It helps you with your meeting workflow, what occurs kind of before, during, and after a meeting, uh, but also as a way of kind of embedding it into uh, you know doing things like team activities. And well, we'll talk about them because what we did do was to take a bunch of these essential apps and put them in this new bundle. Uh, that we call essential apps. Great. Well, let's talk about that new announcement, um, Zoom Essential Apps. Talk me through kind of, well, first of all, why did you do it? And, uh, mm -hmm. you know, who's it for? Yeah. So uh, Zoom Apps, uh, so Essential Apps uh, is a collection of 10 applications that are normally paid uh, that we've included within your Zoom One subscription. So anybody who's paying for uh, Zoom Pro, Zoom Business, Zoom Business Plus, they bought that online. Suddenly, they're not just going to have this great platform, right? And Zoom is, you know, Zoom One is more than meetings. I should probably get into that a little bit. Um, but what it does, what it's doing is we're including these paid versions of your apps that are basically everything you would need to run your small business or kind of your uh, independent professional endeavors, right? Um so Zoom apps basically fall into three different categories that are included in the essential apps. Uh, the first is apps for collaboration and productivity. Uh, th those include Coda. Coda gives you, it's almost like a super powered wiki or document editor that even lets you do low code development of applications and customizing your workflow. I, I literally, with the right communication tools and Coda for collaboration, you could run everything about the way that your team would work together, right? Um, it also includes Prezi, uh, which has created a whole new app, Prezi Video, as a better way to present yourself professionally online. Um, there's a second category, which is what we call team activities and workshops. So if I'm a small business or I'm an independent, like even podcaster, and I'm trying to grow a community as an example, right? Um, it includes great apps like Twine, which supercharges breakout rooms, where you can have a group of people automatically go into speed networking rounds into breakout rooms or tag based matching or other logic for how the people how people would group together and have conversations. Uh, it includes Funtivity, which are professional games that you can play as kind of team exercises, team building activities or Wheelo, which gives you this visual map of a virtual office uh, that would let people go and socialize about their day, right? And the third category is, a lot. if you're in small business, often a lot of what you're doing is also selling or servicing customers, right? And for that, we have great apps like Warmly, which, which lets you brand your professional presence, uh, or Gondola, Gondola, which lets you edit your Salesforce, HubSpot, or Sugar CRM, uh, right there while you're in the meeting, talking to the customer, talking to the prospect, right? Uh, so it's a collection of those apps that normally you'd have to pay for uh, that have been made available for free for one year. That's fantastic. And, and you know, essentially built into the Zoom One uh, license. Um, mm -hmm. and, and when is this going to be available? So this will be at, um, available at the time where you're publishing this uh, video, actually. It'll be on the day of. Uh, in the beginning of January, which is great because January is the month where we all have our new you know, resolutions about how we want to be more productive and so forth. This now includes a collection of tools for you to do that with your business. Yeah. That's fantastic. And, and, and I love the, the fact that it's for, for small business and it, it feels mm -hmm. like a lot of um, 
thought process has gone into selecting these apps for the small business. So fantastic yeah. work. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And, and it's part of Zoom One, right? Which Zoom One is not, so Zoom is more than just meetings. Of course, we everybody knows us very well for meetings, uh, but Zoom apps work both in meetings and webinar. Over the next year or so, we're also expanding Zoom to work across the product line. And that's what that includes many of the things that are included in Zoom One. So having Zoom apps to, that run in Zoom chat, uh, I'm sorry, Zoom team chat, um, which is a great way if you're doing asynchronous text communication, right? Um, Zoom apps will expand to run with whiteboard, right? Uh, and Zoom phone uh, as, as well, right? So we're expanding Zoom apps across the product line. But the important part is, you know, for to really f solve all the needs of uh, small business, it is about this kind of broader suite of offerings that Zoom has, plus this bundle of essential apps. Yeah, and we've seen a lot from Zoom on that, haven't we? That that kind of platform play this year is what you know you're moving way beyond just that kind of UC UCAS offering. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, just looking forward into in in terms of the year 2023, you know, what what's top of mind? Uh, you know, going forward, anything else coming down the road? Yeah, some of the stuff I'm excited about um, is, uh, as an example, it's not part of Zoom One, but you know, as we've shifted into this new normal of hybrid work, right? Uh, the support for Zoom Room devices uh, and how Zoom apps run on those is really interesting. So, Zoom apps already runs on personal Zoom Room devices, the kind you might have in your home, right? Uh, and we're very soon, shortly, going to be uh, expanding support onto shared Zoom Room devices. Uh, so these are the devices that work in your conference room, right, with touchscreen interfaces and so forth. Also, the Zoom Room controller, which sits on the conference room table, uh, and digital signage, you know, kind of the TVs that you'll see in the lobby of a given office, right? So having third-party applications that can run on these Zoom Room devices really kind of creates this work operating system to really transform what is the experience in the room? What is the experience within the office? And doing things like letting you collaborate with remote participants, which everybody does now, using the power of Zoom, not just for the video quality, but also you know, using these kinds of apps that I was just describing, working seamlessly in any session like a breakout room session uh, with Twine across all devices. Speaking of all devices, um, we will shortly be expanding Zoom Room support for um, iPhone, uh, for iOS and Android, right? Uh, we already have it with a limited set of apps that's running today on iOS. We're gonna be expanding to Android soon. These are gonna be for, uh, tele for phone and tablet form factors, right? So it's really about getting Zoom apps everywhere in many respects. Uh, but also as we just creating more APIs for our developers to create unique experiences, you know, a better part of my job is just working with, you know, the partners that are innovating on our platform, right? Uh, and expanding the possibilities of the way that people can connect. Yeah, it's fantastic to see and, and really unlocking, you know, that hybrid work, uh, you know, uh, style, I will, uh, I suppose mm -hmm. the best way of describing it, that, that everyone's looking for it now. And, and we're not expecting that to slow down any, are we, in 2023? Mm -hmm. We're going to see more and more appetite or greater appetite for, for hybrid going forward. What do you think? Absolutely. I, I think, you know, Everybody knows Zoom for kind of what we've done in, you know, the ability for this company to move fast in meeting the need that we had in the pandemic, scaling from, you know, 10 million daily meeting participants to 300 in like two months, right? And if you notice and watch Zoom Sense, the pace of innovation within this company, building out more products into the line, right, to solve more of a complete need. And the way that we've also been making this shift from, the killer app that everyone was using to stay connected with friends and family or keep the healthcare system or the education system running, uh, you know, to have that be able to extend even deeper, right? Um, so one of the more exciting things I'd say also that we have like in the coming year is I'm noticing this wonderful uptick in uh, apps for education as an example, right? Now, I think it's just a great example of the kind of vertical solutions that are being created in industries like, you know, fintech and healthcare and, uh, and education, uh, retail, where it's a combination of both these new first party applications that Zoom has built, 
with the track record that we have for kind of the usability and the speed, you know, it, it just works, right? Uh, second party development, the way that customers can customize the use of the platform on their own. And then third party developers like the ones we've been talking about that are in the essential apps bundle. Yeah, it's, it's super powerful, isn't it? And uh, so pliable to all these different industries and work styles and and wherever you are on whatever device. I think it's fantastic work you're doing over at Zoom. Um, for anyone interested in Zoom Essential apps, what's the best way to find out more? Right. Well, if you're paying for Zoom One uh, online, it's just going to show up and start working right there in the product as though these apps are features. So there's nothing you'll have to do. If you're not paying for Zoom, then you need to pay. You, I would suggest go to zoom.us and uh, you can learn more about essential apps, about Zoom apps. And possibly this is another reason uh, that you would be a customer of Zoom. Fantastic. Well, I'm afraid that's all we've got time for today. However, Ross, thank you so much for taking me through everything. Uh, really great, comprehensive explanation of what Zoom Essential Apps is. So thank you so much. It's my pleasure, Rob. Nice to talk to you. And thanks to everyone for tuning in. If you've got some good takeaways from today's session, do give us a quick mention on social and subscribe to our channel for more industry news and insights. I'm Rob Scott from UC Today. Thanks for watching.